Good evening, Grisha. Is it evening? Must be nice to know the time of day. No need to be rude. Come on in, Narman. Don't be shy. Might as well get acquainted with Dr. Jaeger. You two will be spending a lot of time together from now on. No. No, I am not doing this again. <sighs> How many times have we danced this dance? Hmm? You fled Germany with your tail between your legs, and then you were here, fifteen years later with an ill child, crawling back to us for help. What choice did I have? He's my son. And the situation hasn't changed. We're the ones who hold the key to Aaron's survival, and in return, all we ask is that you lend us your expertise. Who is this? I'm told his name is Ormond, and as well as continuing your work with Annie, here are seen as instructions regarding him. Fine. Just let me untie him. <laughs> Thank you. Your name is... Dr. Jaeger? Yes. You will start immediately. However, in light of recent events, all your work will be monitored. I have other business to attend to, but someone will be coming down shortly to oversee. <sighs> of course. Uh, what? Please, listen to me closely. We don't have a lot of time to talk without being monitored. I know you're from the outside. You're not one of them. And I need to know what's going on out there with the virus. How is it spread? What is the incubation period? What? I... I don't... <sighs> Where are you from? Seattle, but Were you... Dr. Yaker, please, just listen to me for a second. We don't have time for this. Your son. The one you were talking about. Is his name Aaron? Aaron? How... How do you know my son? He... He saved me. Was he with anyone else? Mikasa, maybe. Uh, his sister. She's ha half Japanese, shoulder-length hair, um, usually has a red scarf with her. Was she with him? Yes. She... was. Thank God. Thank God. <sighs> I wanted them as far away from all this as possible. But in the end, they're right where I wanted them the least. Thank you, Armin. At least I know they're alive. Uh, I... She... What's wrong? I think I might have made a horrible mistake. <laughs> no! I think he's trying to say hello, Johnny boy. You never do think about him anymore, huh? New pals, new digs. Never think about him wandering around those dark hallways where you left him. Jean! Hello? Jean, where are you? Oh? Someone else you left behind? I... I had to. And that's what they all say. I'd have thought you'd care more about making sure no one else felt like that. What? Mako? <laughs> Just bury it all, don't you, John? That how you get by? Just pile things on top of it until you're convinced it's not there at all? Just bury, bury, bury. What, what a luxury. luxury. I did what I could. So much for rest in peace, huh? There are walls everywhere and I can't get out. It's so dark in here. Help me, please. There's so much blood. I'm so tired. I've been walking for months. It's so dark in here. It's, it's so, so dark. dark. Help, Help me. me. Please. Please! Stop! 
I did what I could. I... I... Stop. Please. That's right, John. Bury it all under excuses and let it drift out of mind just like you used to for everyone else. No! Oh. God! Oh... Does it hurt? Listening to them beg. A lot more comfortable with the dark when you're the one leaving people there, huh? A lot easier to forget when you don't care at all. Remember? No. So much easier when you didn't care. It's so dark! <laughs> Jean! Jean, hey! Wake up, man! What? Where am I? It's just me. I'm all right. Just a nightmare, okay? Just a nightmare. Yeah. You okay? I think I will be. You haven't had one in a while. Not since the first week here. I think it's that lady. The hollow Hans you brought in. The sounds have been... Messing with me. Uh, I get you. It's all fucked up. Ever since she... It... Turned and... The noises started. Just those... Noises... All day and all night. Yeah. I haven't slept much either the past few nights. It bug you that much? What, me? Oh no. Sasha just has nightmares a lot. She does? Mm-hmm. Especially the past couple of days. I usually stay up with her until she falls back asleep. That's... nice of you. <laughs> well, I care about her. Anybody do that. Besides, it just... breaks my heart to see her so scared. She's so... brave, you know? I don't like seeing her like that. Hmm. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay... That, hmm, means you have something to say. Spit it out. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It was just a run-of-the-mill, hmm. Jesus. You're getting paranoid. <laughs> I don't! Um, honey, what's going on? Uh, nothing, Sasha. Go back to sleep. Mm. <laughs> God. Connie Springer. Huh? Oh my God. You... <laughs> you finally done it. What the hell are you talking about? You went and fell in love with Sasha. Didn't you? Mr. Kirstein, I don't take kindly to untoward accusations of my person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm what? Quit staring at me like that. Ah, look, I don't know what happened, okay? Just one day I look up and... Uh, can we not talk about this? Sure thing, Romeo. Uh, please don't tell her, man. I gotta sort some stuff out, okay? Please? Scout's honor. Thanks, man. Thank you. For earlier, I mean. It's what friends do, yeah? Like I said, anybody would've. Need to help each other out. I used to have a lot of nightmares growing up, so I get how scary it can be to wake up in the dark alone and scared. So I didn't want you guys to have to feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you get that. What do you mean? I don't know your whole life story or anything, man. But I do know you got some baggage you're carrying around, and I know Marco helped you. And I also know after what happened, you got another bag with his name on the tag. Connie. But that's the thing. You know what it's like to hurt, man. To grieve. You know what it's like to feel scared and alone. And you can't stand watching someone else feel like it if you can help it. It sucks. Yeah. You know, Marco used to tell me he thought it was brave to be vulnerable like that. To care that much. Yeah? And what do you think? He called me a coward once. Jean? I think she was right.
Ahem. <clears throat> hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there, Levi. I was a little distracted. I know. You've been distracted for three days. I was just... Never mind. It's not important. What did you come to talk about? I don't want to make this a long conversation or anything. We all got shit to do. But it's something I've been meaning to bring up. I'm all ears. I... Well... Never mind. Now's not the time. Hmm. I know you trust me. Even if you have been distant lately. But I'm simply worried is all. Your mood and how pale you've been. Oh, could you please stop analyzing for two seconds? I'm sorry. If you don't want to talk, we don't have to. No, it's just... What's the deal with you and Lonnie? I mean, you two hang out all the time. More than you and Hanji used to talk. I don't mean to insinuate anything here, but... I know you. You don't do stuff without realizing you do. <sighs> you know that saying about assuming. <laughs> yeah. But you're the king of doing that, and if I've learned anything face-to-face -face with the fucking undead, it's that lots of times gut feelings are right. So why? Hanji's not doing well at the moment. Not to mention I haven't been seeing exactly eye to eye with them lately. Lily as well. You're distracted with your own... And I need a sounding board. I know her just as well as I know you. Oh yeah. She's gonna love realizing she's your default. That's not what I... <sighs> We're friends, Levi. And I enjoy having her around because she's straightforward and talks back to me. It's refreshing. And I need it sometimes. Yeah, okay. If you're insinuating there's something else going on, I'd have hoped you thought more highly of me. I'm a married man, have a family. Just saying. Things are looking awfully familiar between you two. Regardless of whatever feelings I may or may not have had for your sister years ago, that's irrelevant now. Like I said, I'm married. What if they're dead? What if she's dead? Infected? Gone? Does that change anything? You've not been well and you're still grieving. I understand that. But I will not forgive you if you ever... Suggest things like that to me about my wife and children ever again. Am I clear? I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. Regardless, I have the feeling that's not what you wanted to talk to me about. <sighs> Forget it. Not important. You're important. Not anymore. Not the way the world is now. Never really was to begin with anyway. I'm spinning my wheels, and I got no idea where to go, and I can't stand it. You go forward. We can come back from this, regardless of how it ends. <laughs> well, then, you gotta show that, Erwin. Show them that. You're supposed to be their leader, not just someone who hangs back and thinks and doesn't act until absolutely necessary. I trust you, you know that. So does Lonnie. But no one's gonna follow you if you don't show you're willing to go first. What do you mean? Go forward? Alright then. You first. You don't have to manipulate everyone into following you. Stop assuming your pawns to be played. It's getting fucking annoying. Just start walking. We all want a direction to go, so just give us one. I offend you? You sounded like Lonnie. Jesus Christ, never mind then. Thank you, Levi. And I'm here. When you want to talk about whatever else is on your mind. Yeah. Sure. Ymir! Hello to you, too. Keep walking and try to look natural for a minute. Is everything okay? I monitored Reiner reporting into HQ just now. And? <sighs> Not much help besides confirming Bertholdt really is on the other side of that radio. He was being very vague with everything he said. Did Bertholdt say anything? Reiner kept cutting him off whenever he would start to get specific. Huh. Figures. Mentioned all three of them, though. So at least that hasn't changed. Historia. 
Are you gonna be okay with that? With him? I'm going to have to be. But there was something else I came to tell you. The med storage tent is empty right now. What? How? Coincidence. But I think with all the stuff going on here, they're stretched a bit thin and it's hard to keep track of everything. Which is working in our favor. Seems like it. As far as I know, they haven't even analyzed our blood samples yet. So that's why you came running over here. We need to get it from them before they look at your blood and see what's wrong with it. They can't know we're connected to any of this or we'll be in danger. You, most of all. You know what your results will look like to them. I am not getting you hurt if I can help it. Because sneaking into the med tent to steal blood is risk-free. Look, we can't have them thinking you're infected. Or even worse, immune. We need to be under the radar until we can get more information on where to go. The only way I know how to do that is make sure they don't know who or what we are. <sighs> All right, but I'm doing it. You just keep watch outside. But- Nuh-uh, let me do this. My blood, my risk. <sighs> okay, but be careful. I will. Let's hurry. What do you mean? You just called in a few hours ago! Bertolt, listen to me very carefully. I don't know how long they'll be gone. Who's they? Talk to me! Ymir and Krista, they're alive, Bert. They don't want the higher-ups to know they're here, so they took my radio and threatened to kill Aaron if I reported back. But I managed to sneak in when they were gone and- WHAT?! Listen, I know you mentioned something about a decision they made earlier, but Krista was in the room, so I had to cut you off. What did you say? They're sending someone in, Reiner. They keep saying things are taking too long. It's just... It's complicated, okay? There's a lot going on here. I understand. They're... alive. I was just as surprised. I don't want them killed, Bert. All they did was leave. Especially after what they did to Ymir. She doesn't deserve it. But you know they can't have Krista wandering around. If they hear she's alive and anywhere near Eren, they'll take steps to have her under control. I don't think Cena would let them kill her, but... Then don't tell them. I can't. Besides, if they somehow find out I told before reinforcements got here, and I get to Eren, they'll kill him. We can't lose him. Please. On one condition. What? Help me. I don't know what to do. What's wrong? Are they hurting you? It's Armin Reiner. They took him down there with Annie, and I, 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 I can't help him anymore. I, I don't know what they're. Hey, hey, calm down. He's not worth this. He's not worth your safety or mine. Jesus, Reiner, that's. Fuck you. You know I can't do that. Why? Because I always have. It's how we work. But I'm getting tired of you putting him before me. After everything. So? Go through Annie. What? How? She's down there with him, right? Yeah, but... So relay through her. They'll see it as you repairing your ties with the loyal, trusted Annie. It won't be suspicious. How the hell am I supposed to get Annie to do me any favors? I already gave you your bargaining. Hanji? Yes, come in. What can I do for you, Dominique? Hanji, you've been in your tent for days. We need to talk about what happened. What's there to talk about? I'm spick and span, as ripe as a banana. Hanji, you can't lie to me. <sighs> I guess your superpower is being able to see through people, huh? Among my many other superpowers, yes. You can't keep these things bottled up like this. It's not healthy for anyone. Something's going on. <laughs> I'm a scientist. Emotional health and stability is at the bottom of my priority list. Well, unfortunately for you, I don't take that as an excuse. 
You need to tell me why you freaked out back there. I thought I could handle it. I thought I could push through it. To try to save her kid. You know? But there was so much blood. And I... Take your time. It's okay. I just want to know. I wanted a kid once. Did you know that? <laughs> Didn't think I'd get one. All the doctors told me I couldn't after I got diagnosed with PCOS. Seeing that little plus sign was like a goddamn miracle. But about ten weeks in, I started having cramps and light spotting. Went to the doc, ran some tests, found out that my child was gone. Tumors on both of my ovaries. Something they apparently missed on my first sonogram. They ran a biopsy and sent me home. Hanji. I woke up that night, screaming and in a pool of blood. The doctors told Moblet, my ex-husband, it was normal and would pass. Hours of blood just pouring out of me. I thought it was going to die in my bathtub that night. It hurt so much. I... It's okay, Hanji. Take your time. After a couple days when it... passed, I got the results back. The tumors on my ovaries were cancerous. And my best chance at surviving was a hysterectomy. And just like that, my little miracle and any chance for another was... gone. Blood and pain and fear, and it was gone. God, if we'd known, Anji, we would have tried to- No, it's my fault. I should have known what would happen. I never got over what happened, to be honest. Just buried myself in my work. Let my marriage fall apart. It's never too late. You don't have to let this get the best of you. <laughs> and how do you suppose I do that? You're a virologist, right? This, whatever this whole fiasco is, you can help fix it. You're smart. One of the smartest people in this camp, and you can fix this. You're hesitant about Aaron. You don't want to go too far because you're afraid of losing him and- Is this what this is about? Huh? Experimenting on Aaron? Is the whole reason why you came to me was to get me to pull my head out of my ass so I can continue to experiment on a child? What? No, uh, Hanji, I'm trying to help. Hanji, I did not mean to upset you. Your fear of losing Aaron is embedded from the loss of your own child. I'm trying to direct that fear to help feed the fire in you to help find a cure to this. Yeah, okay, sure. Well, you did feed a fire. The fire to protect Aaron from crazy assholes like you that are willing to endanger a child for science. Sacrifices have to be made, Hanji. This isn't just science, this is about finding a cure. Of saving people's lives. And Aaron is more than willing. <laughs> now you're starting to sound like Irwin. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go find him to make sure he doesn't kill a 17-year-old boy. Damn it. Don't worry, I got you. Looking good, Mikasa. Shut up. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 I got you. Just a little wobbling. Why can't I just... <sighs> this sucks. You know what I think you need? <laughs> Legs that work. A good luck charm. Huh? I've uh, been hanging on to this since the accident, but I think you need it more than I do now. You're talking about my scarf. Yeah, I wanted to save it for you. I didn't know how else to keep track of it, so I just tied it around my wrist. Aaron. That tattered thing used to be a scarf. Here, hold out your hand. 
Good luck charm. Thanks, Aaron. I thought... I thought I lost it. <laughs> yeah, this thing's indestructible. Like you. <laughs> so that's why you kept her? It? Around for three whole days? To push your agenda? This is not about me, Harley. I'm doing what no one else seems to be willing to do. Harley, I'm keeping a Harley around my town for days. What do you think they're talking about? That Hollow? The pregnant woman? Not just her. You, Aaron. They're talking about you. Oh, you mean keeping a hollow around my camp for days and putting everyone in danger so you can put a child in even more danger? Will you look at the bigger picture for once? We need to take risks. After everything you know about me, Erwin, after all of that, you still kept the hollow around. Do you not care at all about the well-being of people around you? <sighs> this isn't personal. I am sorry for what this situation brought up for you, Hanji. I truly am, but we cannot pass up this opportunity. I agree with Erwin. We have a contained hollow. We should use it. Oh, we're just gonna toss Aaron in there with it and see what happens, huh? What if something happens to him? Or the others? What if it gets loose? Why are you so concerned with the negative hypotheticals? And not at all with the potential to figure this damn thing out? Because I refuse to watch my sons die again! Because I know what it's like to watch a child I care about die in front of my eyes from this heroine. You're not the only one here who had a family. Lily, why didn't you ever- so ready to rush into your plans. But you end up weighing things differently when you've lived those hypotheticals. You've never lost a child, Erwin. There's a reason Lily and I are so adamant about this. Erin! We hope you shouldn't be here. Oh, am I not allowed to put in my two cents about whether or not I get thrown to a hollow? Erin, that's not what it was. We're not doing that. Why not? What? Don't I get a say? It's my blood and my body and my fucking DNA. I'm the one who has to hurt and bleed for this. I'm the one who has to watch people die, not knowing whether or not something in me could have stopped it. I never asked for this. I never asked for any of this. But fuck if I'm not going to do something with this shit I got stuck with. I should get to decide whether I want to do this or not. That's fair. Aaron, what if we're wrong? What if you get hurt instead of- Well, it's better than what I'm doing now, isn't it? Lab tests aren't doing jack fucking shit, are they, Hanji? My sister's blind because we didn't see what was coming at us back at Lawton. That woman in there lost her life and her kid because we still aren't any closer to solving this. I don't want to wait around for more people to die because I'm too scared. Erwin wants me to move forward? Fine. I'll do it. Erwin. We'll be with you every step of the way. Just tell me what I need to do. 